what's up all my biscuit brethren i'm back with another video and today i'm going to be talking about is gordon hayward by the way if you don't know gordon hayward just signed with the celtics over the heat for obvious reasons because the heat are trash and the celtics are not trash so so pretty much yeah i mean why he couldn't just sign with the new orleans pelicans i don't know but that's beyond the point and today i'm going to be talking about is he good enough to bring the celtics a championship or lead the celtics to a championship so before I start the video, leave your thoughts in the comments about if you think they can, or and leave a like if you agree with me at any point in this video, and subscribe if you do like this video. So before I really get into my personal opinion whether he can actually lead him or not, I'm going to get into like some stats about the Boston Celtics, because that's the team he's joining, anyway, and who like what teammates he's going to have. So obviously he's joining the big two of Isaiah Thomas and Avery Bradley. Isaiah Thomas obviously being the all-star point guard and being an all-rookie on the all-rookie team, obviously his first year in the league, and Isaiah Thomas averaged is 2.9 rebounds per game, 6.3 assists per game, and 1.0 steals per game, and the big one, 30.8 points per game, having to carry the scoring load a ton with Boston Celtics. They don't have much other scores besides his sidekick, I guess, Avery Bradley, where he averages 6.1 rebounds per game, 2.2 assists per game, and 1.2 steals per game, while also averaging 16.3 points per game. Them two really have to score almost all the points. And, I mean, Avery Bradley is also a great player as he is a two-time all-defensive player. And then you combine that with Isaiah Thomas, who's a two-time all-star and 2017 all-NBA team. That's a pretty good team in itself. And then you add Gordon Hayward, so that's really good. And Gordon Hayward's obviously, he's been in the league a while, but he's just really starting to sprout out. And he's made his first all-star game, I think, this year, actually. And he averages 5.4 rebounds per game, 3.5 assists per game, and 1.0 steal per game, and also 21.9 points per game and that's really good because he is also a small forward so he can score on the inside he's kind of big he can get rebounds he kind of pass and Avery Bradley is more of a like a pure scorer he, I'm, not, I'm not all he can do but mostly what he does is score Isaiah Thomas obviously a playmaker score pretty much everything besides uh defense and Bjorn Hayward he plays a little bit of defense and you know he's a pretty good all-around player so yes, I do think this team will make it back to the conference finals and play the Cleveland Cavaliers, but that brings me into my next point about the competition, and pretty much the only competition they have now is the Cleveland Cavaliers, but that's obviously with the big three of Kevin Love, Kyrie Irving, and LeBron James, they have to get through those big three just to make it into the championship, and Kevin Love, the worst of the big three, averages 11.9 rebounds per game, 1.9 assists per game, and 0.9 steals per game, averaging 19 points a game. That is more than Avery Bradley, their second best scorer now that Gordon Hayward's on the team. I mean, the third best scorer now that Gordon Hayward's on the team. He Their worst big three is better than Avery Bradley, which was their best, their second best player on the team last year. So that's not very good. And Kyrie Irving, I would give him the edge over Isaiah Thomas because he, like, he, I don't know, he's more of a pure, um, like, point guard. Looks for, like, he just looks for people more, and he's not always trying to score. As he has 3.2 rebounds per game, 5.8 assists per game, one steal a game, and 25.2 points per game last year. But LeBron James, obviously the GOAT, the reason they're so good, the reason Kevin Love's even there, the reason this big three is even a thing, and the Celtics I even have going to have a problem making it to the championship is because LeBron James averages 8.6 rebounds per game, 8.7 assists per game, 1.2 steal per games, and 26.4 points per game. And obviously LeBron James, he's a four-time MVP. Kevin Love is a 2011 Rookie of the Year, an all-rookie team, and a four-time All-Star. And then you have to get past also Kyrie Irving, of the four-time All-Star, obviously the 2016 champions because obviously they won against the Warriors, the 3-1 lead. And he's a two-time All-NBA in a 2008 all-rookie team. So you have to get through that, and Gordon Hayward's just now sprouting up, so he's just getting used to this star life. Isaiah Thomas, another star, so there's two stars against three, and then Avery Bradley, an abo a way above average player, but not star yet. I wouldn't, he's not even an all-star, so I really wouldn't put him as beating the Cavaliers. I think the Cavaliers will still have the edge over him. I think they have a better point guard. I don't know if he had, they have a better small forward, but I definitely know they have a better power forward in LeBron James, obviously. They don't really have any good power forwards, so that's going to be hard for Gordon Hayward to have a guard because you probably have to guard LeBron. So I really don't think Gordon Hayward will bring him to a championship. It doesn't improve their team. It, obviously, it does. I mean, anyone who would have got Gordon Hayward, their team is going to be drastically better. But let's be honest. Will they beat the, Cla the Cavs? No, I don't think so. So, guys, that's pretty much going to be it on this video. So, guys. If you like this video at any point, hit the like button. If you disagree with me, with me or agree with me, just comment below. Like I said in the beginning of the video, hit the subscribe button. I try to upload daily. Sometimes I also, also like sometimes it's not gonna happen because um well these videos take actually a lot of time to make. Thumbnail takes an hour. They're just a lot of stuff. I don't want to sound like I'm winding like some of those bigger YouTubers. Whatever. So this is pretty much the coolest channel anywhere. But anyway, guys, SB channel. 
out, wear your seatbelt, stay safe kids, don't do drugs, do your vegetables, don't do your drugs. Goodbye.